Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to create this 3D zoom effect inside DaVinci Resolve. It's quite popular effect these days. So let's see how to do this. All right. So the first thing you will do is need to separate your foreground, the subject from the background. So I have this image over here. And uh, what I did was I just separated the background from the foreground. So here is the background image. Then we have the foreground over here, the subject over here. So once you have it, then make sure that the foreground is exported as a PNG image so that you retain the transparency and the background can be a JPEG image. So then you can load these images inside DaVinci Resolve. So as you can see, we have the background over here and the foreground image over here. Then we're going to go to effects and search for fusion composition, drag it onto the timeline. By default, the length is five seconds. I want this transition to last about maybe a second and I can just, you know, trim it down and go to the fusion page. Let's uh, create this effect. So the first thing we'll do is go to media pool and drag in our image. So this is my background and then the foreground is over here. Let's close out of this and I'm going to rename this to background. Let's type in BG for background and this one will be FG for foreground. So if you take a look at the background node, uh, let's drag that in. And um, as you can see, the resolution of this image is 4000 by 4781. Uh, I'm going to change that resolution. So uh, let's drag in our background node. And if you take a look at the background node, it's actually 1080 by 1920. I'm going to go with a vertical video format. You can change it if you want or in the edit page, if you go to settings, you can see that it is 1080 by 1920, which is 9 by 16 aspect ratio. Choose whatever template you want to go with and click on save. So once you have the background, you need to just simply connect the background with the background image. This will result in a merge node. You can just view this merge node. And if we take a look at the merge, it's still 4000 by 4781. And now all you have to do is right click and click on swap inputs. Now our image will be in 9 by 16 aspect ratio, which is 1080 by 1920. So we can go to the merge and we can, you know, resize it. So using the size controller over here, we can resize it. Just make sure you don't have these black bars. So I'm going to just, you know, be careful about that. I'm going to set it over there. Then we can connect our foreground node to this merge one. This will result in a merge two. If we take a look at it, this is how it is going to look. And same thing on the merge two as well. We'll just zoom in and we can just scale it down and just make sure that it is on the edges, something like that. And we can connect the merge tool with the media out. All right. So we have that image assembled again inside of Inge Resolve. Now all you have to do is create some keyframes. So I'm going to go to merge one, which is connected to the background. So I'm going to go to the very end and create a keyframe on center X. And I can also create a keyframe on size. Then on the most two as well, I'll do the same thing. Keyframe on center X, Y and size. Go to the very first frame. Let's start with merge one, which is which controls the background. I'm going to move the background either to the right or to the left. That's completely up to you. I'm going to move it to the right slightly so that we have a subtle effect. And on the most two as well, I'll just maybe we'll just move this one to the left like so. And uh, you can, you know, maybe zoom in a little bit. So we also have some kind of a uh, zoom animation onto it. So let's do that on merge one as well. Something like that. So if you scrub through the timeline, this is how it is going to look. That's all you have to do to create this animation. You can go into the spline as well. If you want a smoother animation, you can, you know, adjust the spline. You can select all the keyframes, hit S and hit the T key on the keyboard to get the ease in and ease out values. Just ease it into 100% and you have to do this with all the parameters that we edited. So I'm going to do it with size this time. Select all, hit S and then ease that in. Do the same thing with merge over here. I'm going to select everything, hit S and then ease that in. And we go to the edit page and play our animation. So there you go. That's how easy it is to create this animation. Now, if you want to uh, replicate this on other images, all you have to do is hold the option key, create another copy of this. 
fusion comp and just go to the fusion page and bring in a different image so let's uh, replace it with this image and uh, i'm gonna drop it onto the background node click on ok to replace it and the foreground image will go on to the foreground node click on ok let's go to the edit page and there you have the same transition or the same effect onto other image as well now i can go into the merge one and you know change the angle or the position and the size controllers and you know make it come from different angles so there you go that's how easy it is to create the 3d zoom effect inside of davinci resolve hope this video is helpful if it was then please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one